Hi, my name is Patrick Boyle. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in today's class, we're going to talk about options exercise and uh, how you exercise an option and why you might do that. So the first thing we should explain is, uh, you know, what does uh, exercising an option even mean? So the owner or the buyer of an option contract has the right to exercise it. They have this right but not obligation to go ahead with the transaction in question. And if they exercise the option, that requires that the transaction specified by the contract is to be carried out immediately between the two parties. Once this has occurred, the options contract is terminated. So once an option has been exercised, there's no more options contract between the, the two parties. Now, when you exercise a call option, the owner of the option then buys the underlying at the strike price from the seller of that option. While for a put option, the owner or the buyer of the put option sells the underlying to the option seller again at the strike price. So obviously you're only going to do that if the option is in the money. And I think the last video I shot explains these ideas of in the money, at the money and out of the money. So the option style as specified in the contract determines when, how and under what circumstances the options holder can exercise it. And it is of course at the discretion of the owner whether and sometimes when to exercise the option. So for a European style option contract, you can only exercise that at the options expiration date. For American style options, you can exercise at any time up until the options expiration. For Bermudan style options, you can only exercise on certain specified dates. The options contract will also specify the manner in which the, uh, the contract is to be settled. So physically settled options require the actual delivery of the underlying. And that could be as simple as delivering 100 shares of stock or involve delivering a commodity such as oil or gold. Cash settled options do not require the actual delivery of the underlying. Instead, the market value at the exercise date of the underlying is compared to the strike price and the cash difference is paid by the option seller to the owner of the option. Most listed exchange traded index options are cash settled and that just makes sense because physically delivering a, a basket of stocks uh, with different weightings according to market cap and so on would be close to impossible. So in the United States, the OCC, which is the Options Clearing Corporation, they will automatically exercise any option that's set to expire in the money by one cent or more. This is done for the convenience of brokers who would otherwise have to request exercise of all in the money options. And this is known as exercise by exception. A holder of such options may request that they not be exercised by exception. The price of the underlying security used to determine the need for exercise by exception is the price of the regular hours trade reported last to the OCC at or before 4.01 p.m. and 30 seconds on the day before expiration. This trade will have occurred during normal trading hours. It can be of any size and come from any participating exchange. The OCC reports this price tentatively at 4.15 p.m., but allows time for exchange to correct errors. Um, it then doesn't make the price official until 5.30 p.m. Okay, well, hopefully you uh, learned something in that video, you found it useful. If so, hit the like button. Um, if you wanna see more content like this, uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell button and that'll notify you when new videos are put up. Um, all of these videos are based on my book, uh, which is called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. And there is an Amazon link uh, in the description below if you want to buy that. Anyhow, talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.